So today's task is to organize and clean this refrigerator because it is a hot mess express. So this is gonna be the before and I'm gonna be filming the during and then of course the after reveal. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and just clear everything out and I'm gonna do it in sections. So I'm gonna go ahead and clear this bottom section out first. So I'm gonna go ahead and just take everything out from the bottom, clean it all up, and then I'm gonna just move section by section. Some people just kind of do everything, but I'm just gonna work section by section. So I'm gonna go ahead and do this first. Um, these are still good leftovers, so I'm gonna go ahead and leave those there. Then I'm gonna clean this bottom section, and then I'm gonna move on. just using some antibacterial spray to go ahead and clean all of this. So I'm going to move the camera just a little bit. Not too bad, but I'm just going to go ahead and wipe all of this down. All right, I'm gonna wipe all of this down and then I'm gonna work on the next section as well. Now I'm gonna work on this second section as well. Just sprayed some antibacterial on here and then I'm gonna go ahead and wipe it down. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to organize all of this. I've already wiped everything down. I'm going to organize the yogurts and then I'm going to organize some other stuff. So I think what I'll do is I'm actually going to put the juices down here. Actually, I'm going to wipe this down a little more. Okay. By doing this section by section, it really, really helps kind of for you to organize without having to feel so overwhelmed. So I'm going to go ahead and move everything here. Then I'm gonna put some yogurts right here. And then I'm probably gonna throw these out because these are not good anymore. So I'm gonna throw these out. And I'm gonna actually move my pink drink too, because I'm gonna drink that today. But I'm gonna just throw these out. And as you can see, I don't have anything fancy. I'm just putting everything together in a uniform way.
This salsa is pretty much empty, so I'm gonna throw that away. I still have some cheese. It's gonna go down here. Have some mayo. I'm gonna actually put this toward the back. These are some leftovers from last night. Okay. These I'm going to actually put in a container. And so that's what we have so far as I'm continuing to organize and clean the refrigerator. So this is where I'm at so far. Everything has been cleaned and organized. Now I'm gonna be working on this section, throwing out what we don't need, and then continuing the rest of the organization of my refrigerator. These two containers I actually purchased from the Dollar Tree and they came with lids so i can always repurpose those for something else i like that we have the condiments right here eventually i'd like to get some lazy susans so that way i can put those there and we can just use them you know as we need them for condiments for cooking dinner but i'm really liking the results so far you'll have to let me know what you think in the comments okay here's the final reveal and here is my refrigerator, all nice and clean and organized. Everything has a place. I discarded anything that was expired. And I will leave a link down below for the egg container, as well as my water pitcher with the built-in filter. In here, I have reusable, resealable alternatives to Ziploc bags. I got those from Amazon. It eliminates a lot of waste and I love this egg container it's just really easy to pull out and those eggs are of course from our local chickens we have and we've got some Dion's ranch dressing if you are ever in New Mexico you have to check out Dion's and also Sandia Brewing Company as well but I hope that you're all enjoying these new type of YouTube videos and content I have really enjoyed making these and as we do in all of my videos, if no one has told you that you're loved and appreciated, I'm telling you right now. Bye, friends.